Hello everyone, I'm Jim. I'm the owner and operator of ASAP Home Inspection and welcome to the new channel name Real Estate on Fire where we're going to talk about all things real estate. It's not just going to be about home inspections. It's going to be about choosing your real estate agent, choosing your home inspector, uh, insurance, mortgages, uh, how to win in multiple offers, um, a whole bunch of different things in this respect. But the real reason that I wanted to talk to you was about the new channel name and the, and the channel change. So originally it was a personal account. I've changed it to a branded account. And through that, all of the videos are gonna be transferred over. And I apologize for the mess of videos that are in here. We're gonna to go towards a more niche market. I've been doing a lot of YouTube uh, updating and information to find out what it is that I should and shouldn't be doing on YouTube to try and help hold the interest of my viewers a little bit better than what I've been doing in the past. Because clearly, most of my channel has been uh, a dump bit place for the commercials that I've made for other home inspectors, real estate agents, uh, houses for sale, and things like that. So we're going to get away from that style completely. We're going to leave those videos on there because people paid me for those videos and they, they link to them on their Facebook and other social media accounts, their social media type commercials. So sorry I've been away for a while. I've been really, really working hard updating the studio, as you can see by the new background. Um, all of my equipment is now in a single space inside of a, a dedicated studio where I have now a multiple camera setup, which I'm sure that you'll be able to appreciate just a little bit more. Um, I also have some special effects now that we can play with. Uh, not that we're going to be using those a whole lot in the videos. Just that it's accessible to me. I also will be able to put up still images, share my screen. Um, if I want to teach you something or show you something on the computer, I can do that. I've got rid of the mic in the face look, although I love my Shure SM7B. It's moved over to my product display table, uh, which is over beside me at my third camera where uh, if there's a product that I wanted to show you, I can actually put it on the table and you can get an overhead view and see it. So uh, we also updated the audio, so you may notice a huge improvement in the audio. Uh, we, I just purchased this new Rodecaster Pro um, mixing board and it's just phenomenal uh, as far as sound goes. I'm really, really, really happy with how easy it is to operate. Um, but if you watch to the end of the video, make sure that you watch to the end of the video because you're going to find out what we're really up to next. Um, I'm about to make the channel a whole lot more organized, but I didn't really want to spend the time taking 3,500 videos or 3,200 videos and putting them into separate pockets. So I'm going to leave everything just the way that it is, but the most recent videos obviously are going to show up in the beginning. And... Uh, so I just, I'm hoping that you'll just bear with me through the transition because it's not easy to do. In fact, it's it's been very, very difficult. I have uh, five or six monitors just in this room alone for shooting from different angles so that I can see uh, what it is that you're going to see before you see it so I don't make any foolish mistakes and maybe, you know, show you the product camera over there when I should be showing you uh, maybe what I'm doing or something that's on another monitor or something we got a little bit of action coming soon. Uh, next up, which I promised, I told you I'd leave it for the end of the video, so that tells you the end of the video is coming. Uh, we're going to do a series about the home inspection portion of the real estate transaction. Now, that's just going to be one portion of a series of videos. Like I said, we're going to talk about mortgages. We're going to talk about first-time buyers. We're going to talk about what to look for when you walk through a house during a walkthrough where you're intending to purchase the house. Yes, you want to look at all the pretty things and cosmetics and things like that. Does it fit your lifestyle or can it fit your lifestyle with modification and money, of course. And with that, I'm going to show you how to do your own mental inspection to know whether or not you really, really need a home inspector or whether you just need a home inspection. So there's a number of different types of home inspectors out there. There's, there's just like any business, there's good ones, there's bad ones, there's mediocre ones, uh, there's in-betweeners, there's low level inspectors. And it's gonna be really important for you to know exactly 
I mean exactly how to choose an inspector that you know is going to be knowledgeable. They're going to give you correct information. They're going to be able to look for those extra things like asbestos, mold, radon, lead. Those are the things that, that are, are quite important to people these days, especially in homes prior to 1980 when it comes to asbestos. Um, specifically. Now, it's not in every home, it, and, and there's no way for us to tell by looking at it, but all we can tell you is it's a suspect material. But we're going to uncover all of the rest of that information in the upcoming videos. And what I'm hoping is that if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you can see we're a very small channel right now because mostly we were just doing commercials prior to this. So if you could please take the time to just hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, ding the notification bell, and then, of course, what's most important to us is your comments on the channel. We would really, really appreciate it if you would comment on videos that you like, even if you don't like them. If you don't like them, tell us what it is that you, or tell me, it's not an us, tell me what it is that you don't like about the video. And then that way, what I can do is we can create a line of conversation and focus in a little bit more on what it is that you're looking for as viewers. What information do you want? Do you have questions for a home inspector? Do you have questions for a real estate agent? Ask it in the comments because when you ask it in the comments, I can actually bring a real estate agent in if it's for a real estate agent or a mortgage agent in who I know and I know that I can trust them to tell the truth about what's going on in the real estate industry and who will be able to answer your questions with some serious knowledge and background involved. We're not just gonna bring in the guy that's fresh for one year, although he may be a very good real estate agent. What we're looking for is somebody who's been in the, uh, the business for a period of time, because in that time, they're gonna see those highs and lows, and they're gonna see what the basic level has turned out to be as opposed to what's just happening right now. Now, I'm expecting to make a pretty major phone call to one of my one of my favorite real estate agents, actually. Um, and he gives me the straight goods on anything I ask about. He doesn't beat around the bush. And uh, I'm going to be looking for information from him on how to win in a multiple offer situation. I'm really hoping he doesn't say cut out the home inspection because that's probably the worst thing you can do. In fact, I am actually busier right now doing environmental testing than I am doing home inspections because so many people are buying houses and not getting an inspection. Then they go to renovate and the people that are coming in to renovate, their contractors are saying, oh, I'm not touching that floor until you have it tested. Oh, I'm not touching that ceiling until you have it tested. And it happens all the time, all the time. Don't cut yourself short. It's a significant investment and the removal is quite expensive uh, to the best of my knowledge anyway. So stay tuned. And if you haven't already, this is the time now where you just click that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you think. Just uh, make sure you interact with the channel and we will interact right back with you. I appreciate your time and I thank you very, very much for watching.